The Victorian Liberal MP Bernie Finn, now running for a reborn party, has openly admitted for the first time that he has some regrets about his 23-year political career. Bernie Finn almost quit politics before being turfed from the Parliamentary Caucus after controversial comments about abortion. Frames and memorabilia in the office of a long-time MP who's had a fair time to think about the time passing on his political career. Oh, no, it wouldn't be, no, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, no, it wouldn't be the 70s. No, no, it would be the 90s. It would be the 90s. No, I said the 90s. No photos of contemporary Liberal colleagues on the walls, save for a photograph from yesteryear. Bernie Finn now admits he's taken some wrong steps in the past, one involving Premier Daniel Andrews. Well, look, I think that, that, that one with, with uh, depicting um, uh, um, uh, the despot, uh, the, the Premier, as, uh, as Hitler, uh, that, was un uh, that was unfortunate, that was a mistake. Um, purely, and, I'm, and I regret that because um, it told, or it may have told some of my Jewish friends, and I have many, many Jewish friends, uh, that I didn't uh, take the, the Holocaust seriously or, or something similar. And that's not, nothing's, uh, nothing's further from the truth. As he revealed his next move by rebirthing the Democratic Labor Party as leader, Mr Finn says he will find candidates and target seats of known political opponents, such as fellow minor party MP Fiona Patton, where no love is lost and colourful language continues. If, if in, in um, Northern Metro uh, we can knock out Fiona Patton, that would be a very good thing. That would Why be very do you want to knock out Fiona Patton? Because she stands for everything that we don't. Speaking from Auckland on official parliamentary business, Ms Patton didn't hold back. Bernie can sleep at night by, by running for the Labor Party. Well, good on him. We politically disagree. That's the bottom. We politically disagree. But that doesn't mean on a personal level uh, that we, we, you know, we spit at each other every time we see each other. After being unceremoniously turfed from the parliamentary Liberals over comments about abortion, Mr Finn was forced to find a seat on the crossbench. He now claims eight parties wanted his vote. I, I don't want to... Um, um uh, let that uh, out of the bag. Some of the, the traditional um, smaller parties have approached me uh, and some of the ones that I hadn't heard of before. But chose one which awarded him leadership. And I'm here to say that, that the DLP is a real, genuine alternative. I believe we can probably win uh, three or four upper house seats and I think that could be enough to, to give us the balance of power uh, and uh, quite looking forward to that happening. The abbreviation for the DLP on the ballot is Labor. So... I'm not sure that that young Bernie who joined the Liberal Party 41 years ago would have imagined that 40 years later he'd be running for Labor. The contest for upper house seats in Victoria comes as the Premier, Daniel Andrews, intervenes in the pre-selection process for the Labor Party ahead of the November 26 state election. The Premier, Daniel Andrews, intervening in state pre-selections in a move understood to mirror that of Anthony Albanese before the federal election. Mr Andrews wants faster pre-selections for seats without candidates and constitutional rules were suspended to allow party conference to be delayed until after the state election. I am concerned that preparing for and holding a state conference in September would draw on the Victorian branch's resources in a way that negatively impacts its ability to prepare for and conduct the state election campaign. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.